that there's all this private property and it's extremely pricey. Um, the culture. Well, yeah, the culture is, is you know, is so much against uh, forming communities. The culture that we've been enculturated with, this whole corporate culture, is actually destructive to communities. Uh, they look with disdain on any kind of community organization because they uh, profit by destroying communities and families, by, by uh, getting people to individuate from groups and communities and go off on their own and become their own little enjoyer and you know, supreme personality of, of ignorance. Uh, so it's very, very, it's, it's really an uphill road that you're facing, and I guess you already know that. Um, but it can be done, and where there's a will, there's a way. And if, if people who already own property um, start managing that property cooperatively and, and uh, working the property collectively, you know, like if you, get, if you get a group of 10 families who say, okay, I'm going to tear up our lawn and plant a garden instead, you know, and then you have, uh, let's say, the kids from those 10 families becomes a work crew that goes around to those 10 houses and manages the garden on all those properties. You're going to have enough food to feed, like, you know, 50 to 100 people. So it's all about it, uh, the quality of the management. The quality of the management is the thing. So many people, so many organizations had gone into West Africa and Congo and tried to start different community programs and they all failed. Every single one of them failed until this uh, working villages concept. Uh, because Ashto had the right mix of being sensitive to local cultural values and also uh, very, very expert economic management. Uh, and he basically, the, 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 uh, the section that appears in our plan on economic principles is basically his manual, his, his, it was his master's thesis <laughs> for his degree in economics. So uh, we rewrote it and you know, edited it for our purposes but uh, you know we can also get you the original and can you look look through it. Um, the the key is the um, the value theory, uh, the labor value theory, or actually I think it's called labor theory of value, uh, which is basically Marxian economy, economics uh, of Karl Marx. Uh, if you divorce the economic theories from from his political theories, uh, it's actually pretty useful. And you can, uh, we, we use Schumacher's uh, vision of how to implement uh, labor theory of value. And he gives a very good, Schumacher was the guy who uh, first saw that natural resources are a different class of goods from manufactured goods. Believe it or not, all economics up to that point uh, treats the two as exactly the same, as infinitely renewable resources. In fact, the whole the term non-renewable resource comes from Schumacher. So if, by combining the economic principles of Marx and Schumacher with the social principles of Gandhi and the spiritual principles of Srila Prabhupada, we come up with a, a design for a community that is so powerful that it can actually defeat a, a, a sick community around it by establishing a wall, a, a wall of protectionism within which there is a, a labor theory of value economy based on an alternative currency, which would be the production of the agricultural production of uh, the land that you hold. So if you can establish this, if you can find an innovative way to establish this in America, you will cause a, a huge breakthrough that needs to happen 
and will benefit uh, many, maybe even millions of people, not only in the U.S., but also Canada and, and Europe. Uh, I'm not smart enough in economic theory uh, to do this. I can see that if you have enough seed money to buy your land, then you can get started. But uh, we need to have an even more creative solution as far as uh, the U.S. and uh, Canada and Western Europe are concerned. So if you can come up with this, this would be the breakthrough that would allow this bridge community thing to grow exponentially, like on the ground, with real people uh, in today's environment. And this is very much needed. So if you come up with this plan, you know, use whatever resources you have, and we'll make whatever resources we have available, uh, then uh, that would be a tremendous service that would be so beneficial for everyone. More questions? David Lugan uh, talked, uh, posted a message to Javier. I offer my full-time help to make a bridge community happen. He's going to contact Javier. And then Steve, yeah, these are the kind of connections we want to see. Steve is saying, my dad has 40 acres, total occupants, two people and two dogs. Cape, it's up in Canada. It's right? in Cape Breton. Breton. Actually, oh, it's a different Steve. Actually, quite land is quite cheap there. Is it Steve uh, up in Canada or? I don't know. Uh, it's. I think it's Steve. No, I don't know which Steve. Cape. The other one, the husband of Jennifer, is Stephen, right? Not Steve. As the same. Oh, okay. Oh. I don't know. Well, anyway, uh, what time is it now? Question from Javier. It's uh, 8.40. Oh. You preach the whole time, huh? Uh, Javier says, thank you very much, Hare Krishna. Please accept my humble obeisances. I have family and friends in local and national politics and also a grant writer. I plan on getting people to contribute future shares and getting grant money to start the project. Do you think this is practical? Very practical. Selling shares in a community is going to be a hot business, uh, maybe not now, but by the end of this year. So if you use the time between now and the end of the year to get organized, you won't have any problem selling those shares, believe me. People are going to be cashing in their chips and uh, taking whatever opportunity they have to live cooperatively because all the existing systems are going to fail. I would like to comment on that. Uh, all of these communities will need websites and will need web presence. It's essential to be to connect people together. So we're we're already working on on this social networking platform mm -hmm. to create a node social network so that we can interconnect and at the same time be separated. This, uh, I think uh, the devotees have enough time uh, figuring out the community itself, the land growing stuff and like that. And they should think of, of taking a little bit on support on the internet side because we really have lots of experience. And yeah, well, what we can do is that we could make a, like a generic template for a, a social networking site that can be customized for a specific uh, project. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. That's it. Okay, so let's see. Mm, it's still pretty hot. Namaste Narajing Haya.
Oh. 